I can't believe there are still some idiots who think delusions and child's foul legacy are both related to Fertuvi. Delusions. An idiosyncratic belief or impression maintained despite being contradicted by reality or rational argument, typically as a symptom of mental disorder. Or a vision-like thingy that has a Fertuvi logo which gives power beyond a normal vision in exchange for something in return. You all should know by now that Everything has an equal price, material or spiritual. The law of equivalent exchange. You give one thing and you get your price worth one way or the other. Even unfair trades will be paid back to you even after you die. Karma, or what you misheard and like to call karma, teaches you just that. Hi, I'm Megamin and this is a piece of my madness. This video will be a tad bit different. I might be dipping my toes into some sensitive topics like mental illnesses and delusions. If you are not prepared to be a little flexible, take this as your final warning, cause I might unintentionally say something offensive. Let's start with the basics and make our way to the madness. Delusions are a tool given to a very few members of the Fetui, including all the harbingers. Only the most elite, the harbingers, get their delusion in front of the Saritsa. You might think the mages and agents are weaklings, but have you ever thought about it as you, or in this case, the traveller, might be a little bit too strong? To be fair, fighting two dragons, two harbingers and two gods is child's play, right? Anyone can do it. Why do you think the harbingers are going after these immortal beings that have thousands of years of experience? Do they have a death wish? For an Archon, a mortal human who has a fraction of the power they will must feel like bugs. But what if that is not the case? We can already agree that delusions have more power than a normal vision, hence why Child uses it after failing to beat us in his base form. There is more. This might be a bad analogy right now, but just think about it for a second. If two countries are in a war and one country has nuclear power, does the other country fight back with bows and arrows? No, they should fight back with their own nuke or something even stronger. In our situation, the Fertuvi is the one attacking the Archons, so the most logical strategy is to fight the nuke with a stronger weapon. I'm sure Saritza is an excellent strategist, probably better than Kokomi. Understand that Gnosis is a powerful weapon, but not all powerful. I might not have factual proof to say delusions are stronger than Gnosis, but that is what all the logical sense points at. To take on a stronger enemy, become stronger than the enemy itself first. And have anyone realized that there are 11 harbingers and one Saritsa? Meaning, the Fatui are using two harbingers to take out one Gnosis at a time, until all the six Gnosis are taken, excluding Saritsa's own, obviously. Well, there are exceptions like Venti's situation. But I can let it pass since all the harbingers probably agreed that Barbados is a waste of time and letting Senjora settle her debt on her own would cost a lot less. So in terms of power output, we can assume it's on par or at least two-thirds of the power of Agnosis or a complete god. This will probably convince you more. She and the rest of the Harbingers have been given godlike executive authority by the Tsaritsa of Snejnaya, and with it, strength surpassing that of other mortals. So, if needed, two Harbingers can easily overpower an Arco. It's not just connecting law like a bunch of morons. We have to try and understand the motivation of each faction in Genshin to see the full picture. The elemental manipulation part of the delusion is exactly like a typical vision, but much stronger. Teleportation, super speed, heightened physical strength, telekinesis, partial levitation, and shadow clone jutsu are few we have seen, obviously using conjunction with their element. We all at some point thought to ourselves why it's called a delusion, right? Delusion is something that comes with mental disorders like schizophrenia, epilepsy, and delirium. A symptom of a mental disorder is used as something that gives power to a human. To be honest, power does make you crazy sometimes. Why do you think half the generic villains in movies seek power? If we take the bare bones explanation of what delusions are, they are created to fabricate reality in your mind. And most times your brain gives you what you want. 
The brain creates a fake reality and make you believe it's the reality. As psychotic disorders, delusions usually come with hallucinations though. That is what shows your eyes via things like loud ones and things you hear. Delusions show you a reality that normal people can't see. With a delusion, you can see what others are not meant to see. Something like the flow of elemental power in there, memories that linger in the air trying to reconnect to the ley line network. As humans, our brain is not supposed to see things that are not meant to see. Think about ghosts. If you see a real one, it will surely scare you to death. Maybe piece your pants and at least give you chills. Worst case scenario, your brain will fry and make you go crazy or put you in a coma. Now imagine seeing ghosts and even the invisible wind. That is the price you have to pay to harness the power of a delusion. This is the reason delusions cause rapid aging and arguably backfiring. The brain goes into unimaginable stress after seeing the flow of ley line power, something that is rooted into the world and reaches up above Celestia. Basically, you see everything from unlimited power to memories and souls that flow through the ley line network. I can't show something like that because it's incomprehensible to our brains, but just believe me, it will make both of us grow crazy. Mental stress not only makes you feel like old, research papers done in 2013 on stress, inflammation and aging shows mental stress actually speeds up the aging process. That is for normal everyday stress. Now increase that intensity to 11 when using a delusion. Pepe's rapid aging starts to sound not just fantasy at that point, right? Delusions in Genshin give power beyond the vision. It's exactly because you can see everything. Someone who uses magic like a sorcerer or a mage is supposed to understand the flow of mana to cast magic. But what if you don't just understand it, you can see the damn thing in action. It's sure to give you more mastery over whatever the power you want, and possibly power to rival a god with enough understanding. Delusions without a master has no focus. It refracts 100% of the ley line energy which is what gives it the black color we saw in Inazuma Conquest. And also why it's super dangerous for first-timers without proper training. On the other hand, Masterless Vision still has a slight hint of its previous element. Look closely at Kasuha's friend's vision. It has this slight purple glow to it. But unlike a Masterless Delusion, visions are white for the most part. Which I believe means they refract nothing. When you give, an overly healthy person who grew up on a rose bed, an unhealthy dose of mental stress, that person changes by giving physical responses like turning their hair white overnight. This mental condition is called Ken Kanaki syndrome. Just kidding, it's called Marie Antoinette syndrome. You know the queen who said eat cake instead of bread? That's her. I know there are new findings that say she didn't say it, but just forget about it for a second. After the friend's revelation, Maria Antonoid, who has been pampered all her life, was put into a dungeon and overnight, her hair turned white. The same thing happened to King Sajan after Queen Mumtaz died. That's the guy who built Taj Mahal. You force a foot soldier to insane mental stress by giving them the experience of a delusion and showing them what you are not meant to see. If that soldier has enough willpower, they'll get a delusion and will become a mage or an agent or any rank below an harbinger that have a delusion. If not, the stress will sink them into insanity and if survive, will be a skirmisher. Like all these guys with white hair who are motivated by food puns. This one's well done! Stabilize! Someone who becomes a harbinger will have an easier time adjusting to a delusion since they are already insane in their own rights. Child has seen the horrors of the abyss and gone through Skirk's training already. Senora went insane after Rostam's death, Skaramus was empty to begin with, and Dotore is just pure chaos. There is a workaround for the madness caused by a delusion. That is why all the delusion wielders have either one or both eyes closed. If you are into DIY stuff, archery or shooting, you might know the reason. We usually close one eye when concentrating on a singular point, like aiming or fixing something small. The same principle is what the Futui are using. 
closing one eye will allow you to keep one foot in reality and the other on the delusion instead of drowning in insanity. It allows you to focus on what you need instead of taking all the information like an idiot and overloading your brain. The majors and the maidens on the other hand cover both their eyes. If closing one eye allows control over the delusion using partial awareness, majors and maidens are completely drowned in the delusion, rid of reality. This allows caster type roles to access more power since their attacks are completely based on elemental manipulation. At first, I thought it was like a limiter placed on one eye of all humans by the Brahmeo Delphon, SEO War of Underworld style. But this makes much more sense. Diluc's father's case is a different situation. It only allowed both him and Diluc to use the same pyro chain power. From the encounters with Child and Senora, we know delusions have much more to offer than just one type of power. It was like that because probably due to being a prototype or a crappy malfunctioning product dumped from the factory. Or altogether, not a delusion, but a power that runs on delusion energy like a skirmisher weapon. It's not like how people think. Krabbers didn't die from the delusion backfiring. The power of the delusion sent the Fatui Parasite Scout thing into overdrive and that enraged the Drake. Trying to protect Diluc from that attack is what killed him. The most likely cause was when he wanted to protect Diluc, he was distracted from maintaining his focus in the delusion and that froze him due to the ridiculous strain on his mind, even if it was a skirmisher weapon. Mask is like a precaution or failsafe. The ability to keep focus inside the delusion state is what's important. That few seconds of temporary paralysis might have been enough to injure one of his vital organs. Since delusions are manufactured and not given by the natural system of Teva, the user probably have the freedom of choice out of all the seven elements, instead of going according to that person's ambition. This is a theoretical hypothesis I made to slightly understand the delusions better. When a black delusion is given to a random person with good willpower and mental stability or lack of it, they will enter the state of delusion and start to see pure elemental energy or white light spreading out everywhere. A state of euphoria, like when overdosed on magic mushrooms 24-7. But the sensory and information overload will soon start eating the brains inside out. I haven't had magic mushrooms, but just go with it. In that state of delusion, finding the right element must be done before it eats you alive. And if failed, either taken to the skirmisher camp or mental hospital. If the selection is done correctly, the person can use a mask that covers either one or both eyes as a failsafe from going insane during combat like Creepers. That's more than enough crazy talk for one video. I hope I didn't make it too serious with the whole mental disorder talk. Ain't human brains fascinating? Things that are not even material can damage it but at the same time can function almost normally with an entire hemisphere removed. If you enjoy my crazy ideas, smash that like button. And if you are new here, hit the subscribe button to join the madness. Also, don't forget to leave a comment. Anyway, this is just a theory in a random dude's head on the internet. Thanks for watching and until next time, let your imagination run wild.